Good afternoon. Um, this is Miss with Being Creative with Miss, and this has nothing to do with crafts or um, patterns or anything. But I had, um, I, I was trying to think. I've had several questions about the box. Um, I think they were in some of the pictures or something. Um, do you want to know what was in the box? Well, I had one still intact that I hadn't, I had, we just, we had like 12 left over and I disassembled them all except one and I, I had not um, taken everything out of it. It was sitting over on the floor. Um, but we took all the refrigerated stuff and put in the refrigerator the ones that were left. So I added the refrigerated items back into the box. So this is exactly how they looked when the guests sat down at their table. So um, it has, a, this is called a gable box, if you didn't know that. Um, I think they're called a couple other things, but I think most commonly, or that's what I know it as, is the gable box. So they had the initial sticker on the front that said, Welcome to our wedding, June 20th. I don't know if you can see that well, but, um, anyway, then they just, when the guests came, they, um, untied it to open up the box and, and we did this because of, you know, we tried to, we tried to, it would have been a bigger wedding, um, usually more than normal, but, um, because of the virus and all the things you need to do, um, in order to go ahead with it, we knew we wouldn't have as many guests. I think we ended up having like 125. So we had to set less at tables and then ask like families or friends that are normally together or live together to sit together. So they were in their own groups. Um, and then, of course, we were trying to eliminate the the need of, you know, like not going up to a buffet-style food reception line. Um, so if everything was individually packaged and just right at their table um, or right at their place, then they wouldn't have to intermix with other people, go through a line, or pick up different serving utensils or, or anything. So we thought this covered the base. Um, I tried to make the contents as special as you can without making it feel like an adult Happy Meal box. But, um, so I tried to think through that stuff and, um, and my sister-in-law played a humongous role in this whole wedding and, and I, we all just kind of kept putting impact or input in uh, and, um, she'd even said one day it would be good to have a pickle in there and I'm like, I hadn't thought of that. So we got claw some pickles and put those in so we tried to we tried to cover it all so when they opened the box um that this is what was in it so they opened it and oh on the back also i printed a menu and it just said you know combination of sliced ham and turkey breast american cheese topped with shredded lettuce on a fresh baked togi roll fresh fruit with dip pretzels or chips dill pickle dip grits in a minute. So we tried to cover all the bases. And we also had gluten-free boxes and they had a gluten-free menu on the back. But when you opened it up, it just looked like this inside. And um, I posted a picture of me um, baking the sub, the hoagie rolls, which is an interesting thing. You can buy the petite hoagie rolls at Sam's already baked in a bag. I think there's 18 in a bag and it's like six eight six seventy two or something like that I don't know um, but then I noticed that they had them in bulk and it said 125 in a box for eighteen dollars and something I'm like that's a way better deal so um, I thought oh that's what I'll do well then our club didn't have them in stock and then we went to Zanesville because it said they did and um, we kind of chased them around but in the beginning, I thought they were just a box of buns. But what it is, is it, they're actually made by Pillsbury. And they come as a pre-portioned yeast bread dough frozen. And so you have to let, let put them out to raise. So um, I tested a few. And it took about three and a half hours for them to unthaw and raise. So um, like the one morning, I got up at four o'clock in the morning and put a bunch out. Um, all over trays, all over the kitchen and, ta and dining room table let them raise and then got started baking them at like, um, I don't know what time, I think it was like seven o'clock, I started something like that, started filtering them through the oven and I'd butter the top and everything. They were really good. If you ever need um, a hoagie roll for an event, that's a neat way to do it. 
um, and, and pretty cheap. But anyway, they have ham and turkey and cheese, and um, so that's what that looked like. Then they had fruit. We set apple slices and grapes. And then I made um, homemade fruit dip, which was just the marshmallow cream, cream cheese, and um, vanilla. And I just put it in the in the little two ounce condiment cups. And then they either got pretzels or chips, and the gluten free boxes all got chips. They they didn't differ. And then they got a awesome dill pickle. And then I made um, I did the Ritz crackers with you put the peanut butter between them and dipped them, and then drizzled them in navy and sprinkled in red for their colors. And then down the bottom of the box um, was a mustard in a mayo packet, a mint, and then their silverware packet um, that has, I it's stickered that says, thank you for sharing our first meal with Mr. and Mrs. Councilman. And um, it had a straw because we had bottles of pop and water and sparkling um, sparkling ice. It's like that fruit drink that's fizzy or whatever. So that was that. And then the first thing that went in the box was the little checkered sheet. So that's how we did it. Um, and it worked out. I was so worried about it because I didn't want it to be just like, well, here we are at this wedding and we got a picnic box or something, which, you know, is what it was, but I tried to make it as nice as I could make it. And it ended up, we got a lot of compliments on it, that people liked it, that they didn't have to wait for their table to be dismissed to go up um, to be served. They didn't have to wait in a line once they got up there to go down, you know, a buffet line, that they just got to sit down. And um, my son and um, daughter-in-law did all the pictures, be well, not all, a majority of the pictures um, beforehand at a at a really pretty place um so they didn't so afterwards they just they did just a real short clip of some of us with just family with them and things like that so um then they went over and everyone already had their their boxes and as soon as we prayed and stuff then they were able to open their box get they got drinks and stuff and we had a coffee bar and then um so there was pop and water and the sparkling ice fruit stuff um so then they just had everything they needed. So anyway, I I just thought I would tell you that. And if you if you know anyone's having like a baby shower, a bridal shower, graduation party, um, retirement party, anything where you where you want to have guests, but you want to kind of just put everything together that you can eliminate all the having to go to a table and and all that. This is a great a really great way to do it. And if any of you need to know, you can message me and I can give you um, the resource of like where the cheap, because I scouted everything out. I, you know, like I searched everywhere. I mean, I found like the cheapest prices of where you can get this, where you can get this, the ribbon, the bags and, and all that. So um, anyway, it was really, it was fun to do and it worked out good. I will tell you, this is, my, this is funny. Um, a friend of mine and she cracks me up. I love her to death. Um, she was in her box and she thought this was mayo so she got opened her hoagie up and she spread it all over <laughs> and um it wasn't mayo it was fruit dip and that was the one thing i wish i would have done is i should have put a little sticker on the top of this that said fruit dip um i listed it on the menu um but just not a lot of people read that i guess so we all had a big laugh over um Jackie doing that it was funny but then several other people said I thought it was mayo too until I like tasted it or opened it and smelled it or whatever but anyway she said it sweetened up the ham on her sandwich so that's all right <laughs> but anyway that was that was pretty funny but I did feel bad about not putting a sticker on it that says that what it actually was so but anyway this is um really quick I know and it's not like I said it's not related to crafts in any way but um it was easier just to show you and some of you may be having family reunions i don't know but if you share the or pass the video along to anyone that you know might find it helpful because um you know it was it a little bit of thinking about it and trying to search it all out and everything but it's very doable and it it, it worked out really really well and i was pleased that 
a lot of people had complimented us on that was that was a great way to keep social distance you know where they didn't have to be right in a line and crowded and all that and it was just so much more convenient even if it wasn't for that reason just to have the box at their seat um you know and I mean, I felt, I still felt like it was, well, just like a, I don't know, a simple meal, but it's, you know, it was hard to like do chicken and baked potato or something like that. So anyway, we, we, we tried really hard to, to make the best of it and make it nice. Um, so anyway, but, um, the bride was beautiful. I didn't even got to talk to her. I didn't even get to tell her that that day. Um. Uh, it was just, it was just a whirlwind of the day. So we were all just really busy and, and they left and, um, they are coming here tomorrow to pick up their gifts and they're, they, my son moved to Columbus. That's where they're going to be living. And he accepted a job with the Ohio State University. Um, he is a nurse. So that is what their big adventure is. So they're trying to get their apartment all set up. Um, after their honeymoon, they got back there and they're working hard at trying to get that unpacked and set up and I'm sure it's exciting, but I'm sure they're tired too. But anyway, um, I'll see if any, if any of you, oh Mary, I'm sorry, you can go back and watch the beginning. Um, but anyway, you can go, if any of you, like I said, have any questions, but I just wanted to show you, um, that's what was in the box. That's all it had in it, but, um. If, if that is anything you might, like I said, might interest someone that you know that's planning a party or anything that it really, really did work out great. It's a great way to do it. So um, you can pass the this video on to them and they might find it helpful. But like I said, and I don't care at all. Anyone can message me and I'll try to help you the best I can to save you legwork of searching it all out. So, have a great afternoon. Oh, and I haven't sent the... Um, the email out for the free Uncle Sam pattern because when I went to log in to get into all my files of Microsoft, I guess I was on under my son's school account and it's deactivated now. <laughs> so I guess um, now that he's no longer a student, he doesn't have that account. So it is, I just bought it for myself and it's downloading. So it won't be very much longer, but that was kind of funny. I was like, not expecting that. So have a great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.